What's up guys, it's your boy Dragon Age Video here. Today, I'm gonna talk about how I feel about um, Death Stranding. Because yesterday I completed the game after, you know, wrestling with if I wanted to play it or not. Or, you know, and I kept deleting it. So yeah. So I'm gonna talk about it while I do an order. So we're just going to do this. Take on order. Wait, there's an order for me. Equipment. Nah, we're just going to do a standard order, I guess. The two one that's not too far away. Yeah, that, that. I'm sorry, but that's way too far. How far is that? 1200 meters. There's VTs and all that bullshit. Alright, let's go. It's like premium delivery, delivery cargo. Cargo within four minutes. Now I think I'll do a normal one. Uh, we'll just go with this. Yeah, let's take the um, the bike from the fucking cyberpunk update, Lodo. All right, let's go, boys. So I time to talk more. Order so that's training. Oh, I got the time limit. 45 minutes. Actually, I'm just gonna walk it. Where is it? So I'm gonna be honest, Chief. When I first bought the game, I went with the mentality. Mentality. You know, oh, walking simulator, oh, walking simulator, bad game, you know. And honestly, that's a very bad mentality because, well, I think it is. Because this game is so much more than that. Sure, it's, it's, a, it's walking, but it's not even that slow, you know. It's not like you're playing some, some guy that's 70 years old or something. But yeah, so I, I'm trying to go to not say any spoilers. So yeah, so when I went into the game, I was kind of reg regretting the buy because, I don't know. I'm in basically in chapter 15 right now, which is basically you just do orders, you just, you know, it's, it's just the other stuff. And so going in it like that made me not enjoy the game as, as much as I wanted. So I kept deleting the game, I kept, um, I kept stalling, playing the game, which means uh, that I just went to play other games. And I kept deleting this game. And hey, I mean, I think I have a fair reason for deleting it because it's pretty big. It's like 80 gigs. And and the update from Cyberpunk was 32 gigabytes. So yeah, crazy shit. Oh shit. And so yeah, I, I'm not. So, do you want to know what the game is about? Well, it's basically you're 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 Daryl Dixon, not really, and you're trying to connect the world together by delivering packages and that sort of stuff. Oh shit! So yeah, but I, I'm not gonna go too deep into that because that would be spoiling the story, you know? But yeah, there's like... Yeah, now it's gonna... Now the hard part is gonna come, but yeah. The story is basically like... 14 chapters. And you can obviously play it multiple ways. You can play it long, you can play it short. You can just... 
go for the story missions immediately. With the, which is actually kind of what I did. But yeah, I honestly don't really know how to talk about this game without spoiling it. So I'm gonna put a spoiler alert in the title anyways. So if you haven't seen any gameplay yet of it, or if you haven't played it yet, you know that I might spoil something. So, um, yeah, I personally really enjoy the game. Let's just talk about that since that's better. And there's more to talk about than uh, I, I like. I like the music in this game. It's fucking amazing. I like the mechanics, the mechanics are really great and the combat kind of reminds me of Metal Gear Solid 5 because the, the way the weapons work, you know, so you just other, other games are like oh yeah, you got your weapon shooty shoot, you know, not not really obviously but uh, I'm, I'm having a hard time trying to describe it but um and this game, it's really the combat really reminds me of Metal Gear Solid. Let's just keep it that way. If you've probably seen me play Metal Gear Solid, if not, please, please, please go search it in my videos because I've played enough Metal Gear Solid for you to know what it's like. So yeah, that's one thing I really like. I like the relation between the. Uh, between BB and uh, Sam. It's really interesting how it builds up because uh, in the beginning Sam kind of acts like he doesn't give a shit. But you know obviously I'm not gonna spoil it or go too deep into it. But obviously you can imagine that while connecting the world and doing that for a while, a man's obviously gonna change his opinion on stuff. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it that way. The story is also really fucking good. Uh, some stuff feel a bit, a bit, uh, you know. And the boss fights. Yeah, you thought this game was just delivering? Nah, bro. This shit has boss fights. They're pretty fucking crazy. Let me tell you that. They're really fucking crazy. Especially the the late game ones they are really fucking crazy the, there's one I, I won't tell you about it you'll see it for yourself and you'll probably think that one was kind of weird too but there's this one boss fight where um, where it, in the beginning it's really epic but then you get to this other stage and you have to the fight you have to fight the guy again but then it's like it's really boring and then they switch over to like another st stage ish thing and then the, and then it's like a straight up re reference from uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 that that's all I'm gonna say about that make delivery let's go Fuck, this is a big fucking spoiler, by the way. I probably shouldn't have done that. I'm so glad you're here. You made good time. That's a big fucking spoiler. Well, not really, actually. You know, fuck it. I have spoiler alert in my channel in, in the title anyway, so I don't care. for everything. It's your own risk. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery. Yeah, so you know, I'ma just I'm gonna just sit over here. You know, actually I'm kind of still deciding on if I'm gonna keep playing in chapter fifteen because it's just completing other stuff that you haven't completed yet. Uh I don't know what to do to be honest. But yeah. I hope that when you guys buy it, you obviously don't have to, but I hope when you guys buy it that you guys will enjoy it as much as I do. Don't go with the mentality that it's a walking simulator because that will fucking ruin your gameplay. It will ruin your walkthrough. Just go in it 
and go with the mentality that it's something more because that's what I did when I played further because I bought this in July or June when it, this came out and I just kept going on and off when playing it and I kept like I said I kept stalling which which is why I just completed it and I only have 30 hours on it and not like some guy on subreddit because I shared a screenshot of somewhere some place that that I visited in the game and he said like that he had 200 hours in the game I'm like holy fuck two hours I got I got 200 I mean I got back then I had 20 hours in the game and I, you know obviously I should have already completed the game but you know obviously with what other youtubers said like oh yeah the story is great but I dislike this and I dislike that bro shut the fuck up come on bro because clearly if you don't like this game it's fine because clearly this game wasn't made for you know it wasn't made for everyone and I'm pretty sure uh, Hideo or Hideo Kojima clearly knew that that not everyone was gonna like it and I also think that when it released for PC the the popularity of this game got like boosted the fuck out of it because on PS4 I don't know I don't know what happened there but yeah anyways Uh, videos like oh yeah there's something wrong with this game or uh, this is not it or I I'm just naming I'm, I'm pretty sure I made those titles up but they're, they're, they're they have that type of vibe to it that make me doubt playing it so yeah I'm at the video here I'd say because you you guys have seen my tier list a lot of the games that I played they're not all of them obviously because I've played way more games but Death Stranding was in S tier and back then I still had only like around 10 hours in the game but um, I'd give this game a fucking 10 out of 10 even if I didn't really like it I'd probably still give it like a 7 or 8 but I really like this game and I urge you to play it sure it's 60 bucks but in the summer so or winter so i mean it was 30 bucks bro 50 percent 50 percent off bro and yo yeah and i'm pretty sure that when the next sale comes there will be a big discount on it too so when the sale comes and you got the money for it obviously because you don't have to please get the game if you don't like it within the first two hours, get it off Steam, obviously. Fuck any other publisher that has it. Uh, but um, if you don't like it in the first few, uh, in the first two hours, because make sure it's before two hours, just refund it. Because you know, it really surprises me that a lot of people, uh, mostly my friends, because I don't know if anyone else, don't know that there is a refund policy on Steam. It's weird, because it's literally among some of the selections if you go to Steam support. But anyways, so, and, but if you do like it, and you have played more than two hours, play some more bro, play some fucking more, because this game is fucking amazing. And I'll see you guys next time, see you later, peace.